Hey everyone, welcome to our video today. We're going to introduce related traits. This is the third of the major problem, the three major problems that you'll see in differential calculus. That's optimization, curve sketching, and now related traits. Those are the three main problems that you'll see. Okay. So let's talk about this. So imagine I give you two dots on the x-y coordinate axis like this. Right? I give you these two dots and I ask you to find me this distance here, z. Let's call it z. Right? I ask you to find me that distance z. Well, that's not a difficult task, right? If I, you just ask me to give you this distance x and this distance y, and you would be able to use the Pythagorean theorem. You'll say, okay, x squared plus y squared equals z squared, and you'd be able to give me an answer. Right? You would solve, you tell me what z is. Now here's, we're gonna take this one step further now. So let's say that we set the dots into motion, right? We make the dots move. Now, Another question comes up, right? Another interesting question I could ask is, okay, how is this distance z changing as these two dots move, right? Or how is this, how is this z change with respect to time, right? So let's see if we can, let's make that our goal to answer in this video. So our goal is we want to find how z is changing. So as time goes on, how is that distance z changing? As these two dots are moving, how is that distance z changing? Right, so that's something we're interested in finding here. So what I want you to recognize here is that notice we start with we've we know how to find z at any given point of time. We know how to find z given any x and y coordinates. And now we want to extrapolate this idea to figure out how z is changing with respect to time. That's a very derivative-like idea if you think about it, right? Because we're going from this idea of, okay, so we know what this is at this one instant to now seeing how it's changing at any instant. That's a very derivative-like idea, right? So we're going to have to take some kind of derivative here. But what kind of derivative do we want to take? Well, we're interested in finding how z is changing with respect to time, right? So let's start there and see if we can take a derivative with respect to time of everything in this equation. However, here's the, here's the problem. Is there a t in there anywhere? So we're trying to take a derivative with respect to t, but there's no t in there anywhere. Right? We have x and y and z, but no t. So we're going to need to call upon an old ally here that is implicit differentiation. We're going to need to call upon implicit differentiation to help us take this derivative. And if we do that, here's what we end up with. Right? So we're going to end up with um, 2x times uh, dy, dx dt. Because remember, we're, t is our independent variable, not x. So t, we're going to have to tag on that dx dt. Right? Uh, likewise, for the y, we will have 2y times dy dt, right? And then, last but not least, we will have a 2z, right? We're just using the power rule there. And here's the quantity that we really want, dz dt. And that right there is what answers this question for us. That is what we're looking for. This will tell us how z is changing with respect to time. That's pretty wild, right, if you think about it. Now, just starting with a, a very simple Pythagorean theorem, we have now extrapolated this to figure out how this distance z is changing with respect to time, okay? And that's basically what we do in related traits. So we have a lot of situations like this where, all right, so we have like a Pythagorean theorem or we have like a shape or something like that. And all we're doing is we're taking a derivative and seeing if we can figure out how one quantity is changing with respect to Right, now we're figuring how these quantities are changing with respect to time. All right, so let's sort of put this all together. So related traits helps us solve problems when things are changing. It helps us solve problems when things are changing, right? Specifically, we're interested in things that are changing with respect to time. Right? So that's, this is what related traits really helps us do. Okay. 
So how does the this work? So first, we model our situation using an equation we know. So for example, we have the Pythagorean theorem there, right? So like that's, and we were able to do this because you know we had one thing moving that way, another thing moving this way, and so we were able to uh, use that relationship to our advantage. Uh, so that's one, that's how we do that. The next thing we do is we make it move, right? So we set up this static equation, and then we make it move. And to do this, we take a derivative with respect to t, right? Because that's now going to tell us how all the quantities in that equation are changing with respect to time. But to do this, don't forget we will need implicit differentiation. Okay? And lastly, we want to answer the question. So I didn't flesh this out all that much in my previous example. But basically, a lot of what related rates is about is not so much the general formula, but actually a specific number. So for example, one thing we might be asked is will we say that we asked for all right, tell us dz dt when x equals one and y equals three. Right? You would plug those in and you would get uh, you would get out an actual number, and that number would be your answer. Right? So that's kind of the idea of what related trace is really all about. Okay? So here's what's coming what's coming up. So the next video we will actually really flesh out uh, the problem solving strategies. We will really we'll do some practice and really get you familiar with how to actually do well on these kinds of problems. And then the next few videos, we will do some more practice on related rates. Right? So remember, related rates is one of the three big problems in differential calculus. When we have curve sketching, optimization, related rates. So this is definitely one something you want to be very well prepared for. If you found this video helpful, please do like, share, subscribe, leave a comment and check out some other videos. See you next time!